today we are covering Palo Alto Network Certified Network Security Administrator PCNSA. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Question is, which data flow direction is protected in a zero trust firewall deployment that is not protected in a perimeter only firewall deployment? Option A, outbound. Option B, north-south. Option C, inbound. Option D, east-west. Correct answer is option D. Next question is, how do you reset the hit count on a security policy rule? Option A, first disable and then re-enable the rule. Option B, reboot the data plane. Option C, select a security policy rule and then select hit count then reset. Option D, type the CLI command reset hit count policy name. Correct answer is option C. Next question is which protocol used to map username to user groups when user ID is configured? Option A, SAML. Option B, RADIUS. Option C, TSCACS plus. Option D, LDAP. Correct answer is option D. Next question is, which three configuration settings are required on a Palo Alto Networks firewall management interface? Option A, default gateway. Option B, net mask. Option C, IP address. Option D, host name. Option E, auto negotiation. Correct answer is option A, B and option C. Next question is, which Palo Alto Networks security operating platform service protects cloud-based application such as Dropbox, and Salesforce by monitoring permissions and shared and scanning files for sensitive information. Option A, Prisma SAAS. Option B, Autofocus. Option C, Panorama. Option D, Global Protect. Correct answer is option E. Next question is, which statements is true regarding a hit map report? Option A, when guided by authorized sales engineer, it helps to determine the area of the greatest security risk. Option B, it provides a percentage of adoption for each assessment area. Option C, it runs only on firewall. Option D, it provides a set of questionnaires that help uncover security risk prevention gaps across all areas of network and security architecture. Correct answer is option B. Next question is, starting with pan underscore OS version 9.1, which new type of object is supported for use within the user field of a security policy rule? Option A, local username. Option B, dynamic user group. Option C, remote username. Option D, static user group. Correct answer is option B. 
Next question is which two statements are true for the DNS security service introduced in Pan OS version 10.0? Option A. It functions like Pan DB and requires activation through the app portal. Option B. It removes the 100k limit for DNS entries for the downloaded DNS updates. Option C. It eliminates the need for dynamic DNS updates. Option D. It is automatically enabled and configured. Correct answer is option A and option B.